Welcome back to my channel. Tom Gillis here with my Tom Gillis Golf Instruction page, channel, all that stuff. Hope everyone's well. I appreciate you being here watching my stuff, learning stuff. Hopefully you've watched all the other uh, videos I have and um, subscribed to the channel and shared it and liked it and, and watch my live streams because we get to talk about stuff and I get to answer questions directly from you and it, it's pretty good. So it, it's still growing and uh, more and more people are watching it and they're loving it. So check those out. And um, I do them um, occasionally here and there because I don't have a set time. I don't have enough people watching them yet to have a specific time, but hopefully I'll get to that soon. But these videos you can watch anytime. Um, like them for me, please, and subscribe. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. And it's not easy growing this channel and getting it and giving my golf content to all you people out there. And my Twitter handle is at sign TGGI. Go to that if you would. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. That jackass was on his phone. Not that I'm not on my phone, right? But not really. So, rules of golf question. Um, they've changed over the uh, last few years, leaving the flag in. Um, penalty areas now instead of hazard. You can drop it out of the bunker with two strokes. Uh, your ball moves on the putting green. It doesn't count as a penalty anymore. So there's a, there's a lot of different rules to help you play better, supposedly faster. The pin-in thing, I don't think that really makes you play any faster. Maybe it does, but there's a lot of arguments on the green. Take it in, leave it out. One guy wants it in, one guy wants it out. So I don't think that's um, helping anybody, but um, I, I still take it out. I'm a tra traditionalist. I still wear pants um, as a PJ Pro. Um, try to look nice and all that, but I leave the pin in. I mean, to take it out, excuse me, like you always have. So that's my opinion. It doesn't. I'm not right or wrong on that. That's up to you. You can do whatever you want, but that's just the way I've always done it. Um, the penalty hazards now they're called no they're called penalty areas now um, I don't know why they changed that maybe hazard was too scary for people the word they needed a safe space for the snowflakes or whatever but I still call them hazards by accident because they are but my biggest issue is oh uh, out of bounds the out of bounds thing okay and I get it if it's off the property you, you can't go play it like a traditional ha um, penalty area sorry you can go in and play it if you wanted to. You know, there was five options when you're in a penalty area. Retee it, two club lengths on either side of the penalty area, hazard, play it where it lies, or um, go back between where it went in the hazard and the flag, as far back as you want, and hit the ball. So those are the five. And the, the yellow hazard was three. Go back as far as you want on a line between where it went in and the target, the flag, retee, or two club lengths. So, or play it, play it, excuse me, not two club legs, play it. Um, but the OB is the thing that, you know, really tees me off, you know. It tees me off because, and that's a new segment I have coming up, says I'm driving in my car, that's my driving in the car segment. Sorry, the camera's over there. So, is a dog leg right on a hole that I played a lot in my life growing up and over the years? And it's, it's and I, hit, I used to hit it pretty far. So I'd hit the ball, if I don't fade it perfectly, the ball, you know, it could sneak out of bounds. I mean, barely, pretty much on a straight line. It's 293, good, good drive. I got it out there, you know, I did, ask people. I'm not bragging, it just did. And, and, and if I didn't hit it perfect, it could go out of bounds, but I hit it pretty damn good, you know, and I'm out of bounds by a foot. So now I got to re-tee and hit another shot, okay? I know those are the rules, that's fine. Um, but now you got Joe Blow, who's on the tee with me. So I just do that, rip it, perfect, doesn't fade, or I get a bad bounce. And now I get to do stroke and distance. I'm hitting three. Now Joe Blow whiffs it, misses it. Misses his first shot, completely misses the ball. Oh my God, Joe Blow, I'm so embarrassed, right? Misses it completely. And I just smashed one and, and got porked. Now I'm hitting three and he's hitting two so i'm hitting three back where i was on the tee you know and he's hitting two in the same spot so he misses it shitty swing horrible awful and he's better off than what i did 
Now, I know those are the rules, and some people say you play better and all that bullshit. But for the average golfer, not just me, a pro, I can get it back and play, and I can handle it. But to speed up play on the golf course, I'm going to go in there and look for it. Not me, but the guy. Look for it for 20 minutes because it's $5 a ball, right? Look for the ball. Hold up play. I didn't hit a provisional because I thought I was in play or I'm not smart enough or whatever. So then I got to walk all the way back to the tee and do it again. And I could hit it out of bounds again. Who knows where it's going to go, the average player, right? So that's what tees me off is why can't we have the OB stroke and distance? I mean, um, play it where it lies. You know what I mean? Drop it out there. Two strokes, two, two club lengths. Now, there's some crazy rule. You can bring it into the fairway. I don't even want to deal with that. that I, I'm not acknowledging that. Every OB, you hit an OB, you should be able to, like a, like a hazard, just take two club lengths from where it went in the hazard slash OB. OB's hazard, we'll call it, whatever you want to call it. It'll speed up play. People enjoy it more. It's a harsh penalty for hitting a ball out of bounds, you know, on, a de on a, something like me who hits a decent shot too, you know. Well, you're on a part of three. I've done it. You hit downhill. It's OB over the green. You hit it, hits a sprinkler head and goes OB. You, you, you'd have been on the green putting for birdie. Now you're hitting three off the tee and get, make a double bogey or more. I just think it's a, a cruel penalty for the average players and it, it'll speed up play because now you don't have to come back to the tee and hit one. You don't have to hit a provisional ball. You know what I mean? So out of all the rules that they changed, why wouldn't they do that? Now, I, I don't know why they wouldn't do it. I don't know who's in charge. I'm certainly not in charge of it. But, you know, and, and I'm sure a lot of people don't know that. They just drop up there anyways, the people that don't play by the rules per se. So I don't know. Um... What do you think about that? Leave it in the comments if you think I'm crazy or or what should be done or leave it alone. But I, I just think it's it, it would help golf speed up play and help people play obviously play a little better. They got a, a easier chance hitting hitting three up there than at the tee, you know. So speed up play, people enjoy it more. A couple of good reasons for it. And um, I don't know, maybe they will change that. You know, and, and hopefully too, my other one go back to metal spikes. But hopefully they will change the the OB rule and and just make it more enjoyable for people. You know what I'm saying? So again, tell me what you think, or, or put it in the comments down below. Shoot me an email, Tom Gillis at PJ.com, with any advice, comments, anything that could help me make a better show for you, or anything you want me to cover, or air your grievances, or anything like that. I'll be glad to listen to it. Um, and help you out if I can. I do online lessons now, you know, on, it's called OnForm, the app. You get this app, you send me your videos, I send them back to you. It's pretty cool. So um, check those out. If you want help, online coaching, you know, we talk about getting prepared for a tournament. Check out all my other videos. I'd really appreciate that. Um, like I said, share the channel, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. It's getting better and better. I'm doing more videos every day. I got a lot of them to post. And um, things are going to get good for uh, all the golfers out there that want help and that want a, a golf pro who will communicate with them and have access to them. You want access to me? You got it. You know, I can talk to you live stream or through here, through text, whatever you want to do. So I want to be the people's pro. Some of the you, you can talk to and not just bloviate and just say blah, blah, blah. I do have my opinions on things, but that doesn't mean I'm always right. You know what I mean? So. Again, um, I appreciate every one of you for watching this. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please like it. Um, leave me a comment. All that stuff. Watch my other videos. Tell your friends. Everything's going to be wonderful. So, um, I will bid you adieu right now. I want to thank you again. Till next time, Tom Gillis checking out. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a good one.